Alright guys, how you doing? It's Rabir. Hope you're all well. So this video is focused around microphones and specifically we're talking about camera microphones. The reason I wanted to do a video about this is because of course I make YouTube videos for a living and I'm out and about with my camera. Sometimes I'm filming gigs, doing tour blogs, anything like that where I want a good quality audio recording for my videos and I can't always bring along my microphone that I use for speech and my interface, which is what you're currently listening to. I use a Aston Spirit microphone going into my Universal Audio uh, interface and that is how you're getting this speech vocal right now. However, when I'm out and about, I use a separate microphone that I plug into my camera. And for a long time, I've been using the Rode Video Mic. So this is the Rode Video Mic. I'll do some close-ups of it as well. These are about 80 pounds. You can pick these up from probably most places. You can pick these up from even Anderton's as well. Um, Rode are a uh, microphone manufacturer that I'm sure you're all aware of. Um, they do lots of different microphones for different purposes. Uh, I specifically enjoy the NTR microphone that they use as a ribbon. Um, and yeah, basically this sits on top of your camera on your shoe mount uh, and it has a Rycott like shock sort of resistant cradle that it sits in and and basically you put a 9 volt in has uh, an 80 hertz uh, high pass filter and it's got a couple of dip switches inside to go from minus 10 db to minus 20 db if i take the um the sort of protective foam off you can see it's a shotgun mic it's basically a shotgun mic mounted on top of your camera now that is the video mic that i've been using for a long time for the sake of ease i just knew road made video uh, video mics and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to get one and it's going to help out. And I've been using this for quite a long time. All the vlogs you've seen have been filmed with this. However, this is the new Shure VP83F lens hopper microphone uh, by Shure Microphones. Now, I don't think Shure need any introduction. They're one of the biggest, most renowned microphone companies in the world. And they make microphones like the SM58, 57s, industry standards. Everybody knows how good and reliable they are. So a little bit about the VP83F. This is kind of similar concept really. It has a Rycott sort of cradle that it sits in. Uh, it's a much smaller form factor, but a couple of cool features about this that's, I mean, different to this. Well, firstly, this is about 350 pounds. So you're talking a huge jump in price, but is it worth it? Are you getting a lot more for your money? Well, for a start, this shoots to an SD card which means that you can take your WAV files off your SD card, mix them in Logic afterwards, and then put them back into your video editing software so that you can make your videos that way. Whereas this writes it straight to your camera. Now, of course, that you can still take off your SD card and do it that way, but it's a lot quicker just to take your, your micro SD out, bang it into the computer, and uh, do your audio just saved as WAV files. Some other cool features on the lens hopper mic are that you can detach the cable, which you can't on this, this is hardwired in. Um, you can also incrementally change the gain on this microphone um, by a singular decibel as opposed to minus 10 or minus 20 on this. Um, so you can do it very, very specifically, which is really great if you're doing gigs and things like that and then you need to jump over to speech real fast because you can just knock it up real fast and you're not either overshooting or undershooting the mark, so to speak. It's also got a little screen. I'll film some close-ups so you can see what you actually see on the lens hopper mic, but you can adjust the gain, adjust your headphone gain, depending on how much you're hearing, because it has its own headphone in as well. So you don't even have to use the camera to listen back. You can completely bypass the camera you're using and focus just on the audio, save to an SD card, plug it into your camera so you're recording from the SD card and the camera and monitor from the microphone itself. It's also got a battery trap door, which in there you can put your uh, rechargeable batteries and of course where you can slot the SD card. And hopefully you've seen on the close-ups, you know, that it's it's smaller. It's much, much smaller. One of the things you can see, hopefully here, how much smaller it is. But when I've interviewed people and I've done stuff at NAM or, you know, wherever it might be, and I stick the camera in the face, if this is on top and this actually reaches out further than the lens, you've got this right in your face, it's a little bit off-putting, especially those that aren't used to being on camera. Whereas with this, it's a little bit smaller, a little bit less invasive, so I do like that. But the real test is how does it sound, so we're going to do that starting with acoustic guitar. 
Okay, so first things first, I've got my Faith Venus High Gloss acoustic guitar with Didario EXP bronze strings. So it's quite a bright, barky sounding guitar as it were. You're still listening to the Aston Spirit microphone at the minute for speech, but as soon as I start playing, we'll jump over to the Rode video mic and you'll hear how it sounds as this kind of shot with a microphone mounted setup is what you'd be doing on location if you just wanted to shoot a quick unplugged video or something like that. So here we go. <laughs> Cool, so now we're going to be testing out the sound of vocals using both the Rode video mic and the Shure VP83F, starting with the Rode video mic. At the minute you're still hearing the Aston Spirit on my speech, but as soon as Hannah, my beautiful assistant, starts singing, you'll be hearing purely video mic. So we're starting with the Rode video mic, three, two, one. Your head is in the sky. Your head is in the night Above the foundry and where the clouds do float Your head is in the sky Your Above the foundry and where the clouds do float. Okay, so there was some vocal figured on its own. Would probably be best to hear the difference between the two mics. Um, what I want to do now is show you how it sounds picking up electric guitar, but not in the context you might expect, whereby we'd mic up a cab. With this, I wanted to take the video mic, keep it on the camera and sort of try to simulate something similar to what you might find in a trade show where you're you know, filming a piece of gear and someone's demonstrating to you how it sounds, um, whereby there are things blocking speakers, there's air in the room, there's you know all that kind of stuff is going on. So I figured this would be better than trying to close mic it with something like a video mic. So I'm gonna play some electric guitar. We're currently listening to the short VP83F and then we're gonna move over to the road. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so we've heard examples on speech, vocal, acoustic and electric guitar. I figured those were the best examples that I could give you in this environment, putting the microphones into context. Hopefully it was helpful. And I think it's fair to say that, of course, at the end of the day, it's up to you guys what you think sounds better. Please let me know in the comments section. But we're looking at a microphone like the Rode Video Mic, which is around 90 pounds. And then of course, we've got the VP83F, which is the more professional choice around 350 pounds and what you need to ask yourself is mainly how important is the audio quality quality for my videos 
Um, how important is it for me to be able to do post-processing on the audio that I'm picking up from these microphones? Um, and then things like how important is it for me to sort of fine-tune the amount of gain I'm using on my microphone and do I want to monitor on a separate device? Do I need to plug headphones into the microphone directly? Basically, the Rode video mic is good for a quick run and gun option, whereas the Shure, if you want the professional um, sort of high-end uh, look at how to use video mic using all the features that it has involved, then I would say the Shure VP83 is probably the better choice. However, it's worth pointing out that Rode have just brought out a video mic Pro Plus, which is very similar in fact. Um, so maybe I can do a shoot out of those. But I think going forward, I'm probably gonna be using the Shure for many reasons. Firstly, it's smaller, so it doesn't get in people's faces. It also shoots to SD cards, so I can go ahead and mix the audio afterwards in Logic without having to mess around extracting audio from video files. Uh, it's also got a detachable cable, so I can run it longer. I can actually maybe take it off the camera and hold it to people if I need to use it for that with a longer cable. It's up to me. Uh, and I think lastly, it's, it's smaller, more rugged. Um, I don't feel so bad about cramming it in a bag as much as I did the Rode video mic, worried it would snap. So there are a few reasons why I'm going to be using the Shure, but generally speaking, I think hopefully this test was good, and I think at the end of the day, if it's important to you, then you should invest some money in a decent uh, audio device for picking up your camera audio if you are a filmmaker. In any case, I hope this was helpful. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll leave links to these products in the description box. Like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you all very soon.